moved. Praise the Lord. I shall not be moved. Church, this is our month of profitability. And you cannot make profit when you are being shaken, when you are being moved from one point to another. You must be settled for you to make profit. Praise the Lord. You must live a life of settlement for you to make a move in the name of Jesus. So we saw we shall not be moved. For God is our rock and our salvation, our defense. He is our fortress in him. We cannot be shaken. Praise the Lord. That was Psalm 62 too. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We are going to continue from where we left last Sunday and the Lord today is coming to speak to us in a mighty way. Praise the Lord. Ah. Uh, I like uh, viewing movies. That is me. Especially the action ones. Amen. <laughs> Who is with me in this church? Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Kumbe to Nakanda is in movies are action. Amen. But I don't know if you are in the series. I don't see a lag in the Namia Yaka Wapia Kamadizia Wapi. Amen. But I like a a a a a a a a few action movies. And there's one actor I didn't like because that man makes me happy. Amen. So I've been watching this movie of this man, The Casino Royale. You know that movie? The Casino Royale. These are moves made that were shown by James Bond. You know James Bond? Hallelujah. Are we talking? <laughs> this movie, the, the Casino Royale, is, is a very great movie. And, and I looked at this movie and it touched me. You know, in this Casino Royale, there is a man there. The main actor is James Bond. Amen. And this is a man who likes taking his drinks. And the strings in that movie, uh, they, they are called Martin. You know? eh? Martin movies. Martin the Green Tricks. You know the Martin? Martin. M A R T I N I. I have never drunk. Help me, those people who have taken these things. Hallelujah. Positivani hapa kumbetoka mbiguni mkanguka. Hallelujah. Mulitukua hizi vitu. Amen. He likes taking these drinks. So, what this man is asking for this drink, it is a word he uses. And you listen, how do you want it? He says, uh, bring my, my drink. Shake it and start. Amen. The man tells the person who is selling the, the drink, please bring my drink. Shake it and start. Then <laughs> the people who serve, they go bring the drink. I don't know what they do. And they shake fast and then they corrupt. That is the style. I don't know what they do. Those of us who were there, who were professional, you go there and say, I need my material, shake it and start. Then it is brought to you. Praise the Lord. But when it is brought to you, you take it because this man and that. But there's something that happened. Hey. Hallelujah. You know, our basis and our song that we are going to use today is Psalms 125 from verse 4. Hallelujah. I didn't reconnect Psalms 125 from verse 4. The man asks for his things and then things bring it when it is shaken. <laughs> and he starts, wrote to Jesus. But in Psalms 125, verse 4, what does the word of God say? Do good, O Lord. Yes. To those who are good. Uh -huh. And to those who are right. Uh -huh. With you and all people. No, start from verse 1. Those who trust in. Yes. And live on. Those who trust in God. And confidently hope in the Lord. Uh -huh. I like Mount Zion. I like Mount Zion. Which can't be moved. Which cannot be moved. But abides and stands. I read the bar the, the verse that say it cannot be shaken. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I like the movies. Hallelujah. So this man asked for his martin. Then it comes shaken and stop. But in this psalm, there's something I think we learn. That the children of God, the children of God, what we ask from God because we know that God we are serving what He can. The man of God had gone through trouble and he had gone through many things. And he said this. Uh -huh. Those who trust in the Lord. Those who trust in the Lord. Are as Mount Zion. Are 
gets knocked down. Which cannot be moved. Which cannot be moved. But remains forever. But remains forever. As the mountains surround. My Bible says, they are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken. Go to Jesus. Hallelujah. That cannot be shaken. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Here in Psalms 125, there are people we are finding here who are not shaken, but they are stuck. Go to Jesus. Who are not shaken, but stuck. Those who trust in the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion. They, are, they cannot be shaken, but they last forever. Hallelujah. We are shaken. And the that is the the, 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 the the body, James Bond is asking for. But as Christian, we are not shaken. But start. So today, my topic of what I'm preaching today, not shaken, but start. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. We are not shaken, but start. Glory to Jesus. Why are we not shaken? Let me tell you, we are not shaken when things are hard upon our lives. When things come against our lives, we need to be strong. When things happen, the way they are happening, and we find we are facing things right. When things are not answering to our prayers, when things are not happening the way we want them to happen, when things have come, that we can have a word and say, we are not shaken, praise the Lord. But we are stirred. Why are you stirred? You are stirred. You are starting to call upon the name of God. You are starting to say, There's a Lord who live and I don't see who, who comes to fight battles on my behalf. The man in the movie, he was asking for a thing that is shaken and not stopped. As you go down the movie, there, there's a lady they have today about more. Him. The lady one day after everything happened. He asked James Bond, do you trust anyone? Then James Bond, because in that room the other man was let down, the man was betrayed. He says, I do not trust anyone. He answered the lady, I do not trust anyone in that movie. Shaken and start. Shaken and no start. Amen? I do not trust anyone. Then the lady more told her, there's a bomb. Then you have learned a lesson. Praise the Lord. I follow movies. Glory to Jesus. It enters into my spirit. There's something I like about this action of this guy called Jeff Bomb. The man said, Then you have learned a lesson. Not to trust some people. Because this man trusted some people in this mission. But the mission betrayed the people they betrayed him. The man they betrayed that man. So he reached that point, he found it out, and he came out. And he was asked, Do you trust anyone? He said, No. And I don't think I will trust anyone. Go to Jesus. But in my topic today, my talk saying, We are not shaken, but start. Praise the Lord. We are not shaken because we have one whom we trust. Go to Jesus. James Bond did not trust anyone. But first, we have somebody we trust. There is somebody who trusts you in your life. Who is my God? Who can make sure he takes care of you? But that person, in the case of things happen, let me tell you, things will happen. I promise you things happen. And I tell you, they will never fail you. When things are happening, they are not going to be good. Some of us will have gone through issues. Some of us will have been attacked. Some of us we have been fought. Some of us people have cut us short. Some of us people have talked to things. Some of us we have been brought down. But let me tell you, the Bible is speaking about us today that we must remain unshaken. Glory to Jesus. Because when this trouble comes, they do not come to kill you. They come to strengthen you. Praise the Lord. When this trouble comes, they do not come to finish you. They come to stay you up. Today I come to speak to people who have gone through troubles. I have come to speak to people who have gone through issues. But in these issues, they did not, they were not shaken. But they 
in my son. Today there are people who have been stirred to worship the Lord. Today there are people who have been stirred to be in church. Today there are people who have been stirred to call upon the name of God. There are some things, let me tell you, we thank God for the people who raise their hands. Today I thank my God for the people who bewitch me. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. I thank my God because of my brothers who bewitch me. Because if they did not be with me today, they would not be a pastor. I could not be preaching today. The men that are they pray, they be with me, my friend, I started seeking God. Today I'm what I am. Because of those men who be with me, and today I'm preaching the word of God. I could not have known who my God is and what my God can do. I did they did it to me. I come to speak to somebody. We thank God for those people who have been fighting you. We thank God for those people who have been backbiting your life. Because those because of what they have gone through when they are in church glory to Jesus anyway the troubles pushed you to church the trouble pushed you to God praise the Lord what you have been going through has made you stick to church this man did not trust anyone because People betrayed me. There are people here being betrayed. You are here, people have spoken about you here. You are here, people have backbitted you. You are here, people have never seen anything good from you. You are here, people have left you. You are here, people have said all sorts of things. We are here, we have been thought of through. But there is a God who you can trust. There is a God who can put all your needs to Him. There is a God who can call. And this God is the God. King David, God upon her. And He said, I have a God whom I put my trust in. I have a God whom I put my trust in. This God, when you put your trust in, let me tell you, He will make you stand. Glory to Jesus. He will make you stand. Some of us we have been fought. Some of us we are not standing. Why? Because the enemy has taken the state. Let me tell you this. We get the people who have not been shaken. But they are being stuck. David was meaning there are people here, those who trust in the Lord, are like Mount Zion, that cannot be shaken, but they do us forever. The men that gone through a match, you got first two. What does first two say? Mm -hmm. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem. He's saying, as the mountains are Jerusalem. So so the Lord is round about. So the Lord is what? Round about His people. Is around His people from this time forth and forever. Listen, as David was trusting his life to God, David had known. So as the mountains have surrounded Jerusalem, so is my God. How He has surrounded me. The man was trusting in God because God had surrounded him. You know the problem we have, Kenyans. The problem we have for Christians is because we do not trust with, with, with our God. We do not trust in our God. We do not trust anyone because we have been betrayed. Because we have been saved. We people are raised against us. We have missed our God who cannot trust the word of God. Because I have not seen anything from you. You, you tell God, already is taking care of number three. He says, What? Mm. The scepter of wickedness shall not rest upon the land of the righteous, lest the righteous stretch forth their hands to iniquity and apostasy. Even before I go there, praise the Lord. Those who trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion, they cannot be shaken. People, people who are put, who are put their trust in God, they are people who are shaken. You cannot be shaken. Let me tell you, you are put your trust in God. Every day you are put in trust. Don't think scared, you shall stand. You are, you are saying your God is reliable. God will never forsake you. God will never save you. I've come to tell you confidently. God will never fail you. Yes, 
Those things may look as if they are not happening. But let me tell you for sure, God will never fail you. The enemies may fail you. People may fail you. I can fail you. I'm a human being. But God whom you trust will never fail you. Praise the Lord. Things might happen, but people are failing you. You are so hurt. I've come to speak to people who are so big, who have been so much hurt. People are in pain. People do not know what to do. People have been left. People have been given some things that do not even see correspond to the things of God. People have taken things. People have met wicked people. People have been hurt. Those are the people I've come to speak to today. Those are the people who have taken you to places. Those are the people who have made you have that pain. You have reached a point you do not trust anyone. Even God himself does not trust you. But God says, he surrounds you. Like the way Jerusalem is surrounded by mountains. God protects you. God is there for you. Anytime you call upon his name, he's ready to listen to you. He's there for you. That's the reason David came and realized there is one who can be trusted and the rest. And that person is God. Praise the Lord. When you trust in God, you are depending on God. Trusting in God, it means depending Purely on God. To have a relationship with God. Glory to Jesus. Be reliant to God. That you are reliant to God. Be focused on God. That is what it means by trusting God. You are not swayed by anything. You are focused on God. You are looking on God. Those who trust in God, they shall be like Mount Zion. They will never be moved. They shall never be shaken. Glory to Jesus. They shall never be shaken. Today I've come to speak to people who have been shaken. I've come to speak to people who have faced through issues, who have gone through difficulties, who have faced the hardness, who have gone through with hands without, who have been, who have faced poverty, who have faced pain in their families. They are people who have suffered since they were born. They do not know what is done. Hallelujah. But the Bible is saying, when we trust in God. You shall be like Mount Zion. That can be, not be shaken. Hallelujah. There are people who have suffered. We have gone through issues. There are people who have gone through pain. There are people who have gone through issues. You have, you have suffered in your life. In your family, you have suffered. You have been crying. You have been asking God what next. But let me tell you, there is God who is saying to there is God whom you can trust. I come to speak to somebody whom today God is turning them to go to another inner circle, another circle of seeking God. I pray for you today that as you continue going through this fire, there is a God who is waiting for you. There is a God who is waiting for you to lock the door. And the God is saying, Those who shall lock, I shall open. God is waiting for you. Let me tell you, my dear sister, my dear brother, God is waiting for you. There is no big issue before God. There is nothing God cannot do. There is nothing God cannot solve. I'm telling you today for sure. God is waiting for you. You have to just lock the door. And be scared to worship. Praise the Lord. As things went by, David was attacked all through. David knew battles. David knew people raising against him. David knew people who did not like him. David knew people who were crazy every time of them against him. But this is a man who was tired to worship God. This is a man who was tired to seek his God. This is a man who believed in the God who called him. This is a man who stood by the things of God. And when David stood by the things of God, God started defending him. I've come to speak to somebody who is going to be silent today. It's not been start today in the name of Jesus. I pray today that God who stands, who is to be the is coming to stand with you in the name of Jesus. It's coming to stand with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. David was fought. David was fought because the scepter was all over us. Was the scepter of wickedness shall not rest upon the land? I've come to speak to the shepherd. The Bible says, for the scepter of what? Of wickedness. Yeah. Shall not rest upon the land of the righteous. Yes. Does the righteous stretch for their hands to iniquity and apostasy? For the scepter of the wicked. 
will not remain over the land. Hmm. Why does it be? David knew the scepter is there. Wickedness is there. Wrong people are there. He knew he would be attacked. He knew it's a limited domain. But there's one thing we are learning from verse 3. That the scepter of the wicked will not remain. Why does he do it? I've come to speak to somebody what you are going through. Let me tell you, will not remain forever. The joblessness you are going through, it is not going to remain forever. The trouble you are going through, it is not going to remain forever. The sickness you are going through is not going to remain forever. Let me tell you, there's an expired date. And that expired date is coming for those who trust in God. Praise the Lord. That expired date is coming. Telling you, the scepter, the weekend will never remain forever. Hallelujah. It will never remain under the land and not get to the righteous. For then the righteous might use the earth to do evil. He knew. When the wicked remain forever, even the righteous will forsake their God. When troubles remain for long, even the righteous will forsake their God. That the reason the trouble we go through is for a moment. Suffering comes. That's what she do. Hallelujah. But joy comes when? In the morning. Suffering will come at night. But in the morning, you will experience joy. Glory to Jesus. First Peter. It was Peter. It is five. First Peter. Mm. First Peter chapter five, verse ten. Mm. And after you have suffered a little while. The Bible says, after you have suffered for a little while. So suffering is there, our baby. Glory to Jesus. So we must, we will suffer in this world. In the calling of God, we will suffer. But who will make it? Those who trust in God. After you have suffered for a little while, uh -huh. the God of all grace, the God of all grace, there is a God who will come and grace you. Who imparts all blessings and favor. Who imparts all blessings and favor. Glory to Jesus. This is your, this is your prophetic word. Hallelujah. After you have suffered for a little while, eh, the God who does what? The God of all grace. The God of all grace. The God who has mercy on you. The God who hears your cry. The God who listens to you. God of all grace will do what? Who has called you to visit? Who has called you to his kingdom? Eh? To his eternal glory. Yes. Jesus. Uh -huh. He will himself complete and make you. He will not send anyone. The Bible says. He will himself do what? He will himself complete and make you what you ought to be. He will himself come and complete you to make you who he wants you to be. Establish and ground the sector. So what are you crying today? When you are single, God himself is saying is coming. And because he's God of all grace, he says he's coming to make sure he completes your life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Then you will do what? He will complete. He will himself complete. Uh -huh. and make you what you ought to be. Make you what you ought to be. Establish and ground you securely. Then he will establish you and ground you securely. Uh -huh. And strengthen and settle you. And strengthen and settle you. Lord Jesus. After we have been shaken, God will come and will make us your strong. Will come and strengthen your life. Will Hallelujah. After you have suffered for a little while, this God will come. Go to Jesus. After you have been shaken, the God is just next to God. Because the same time the wicked shall not last forever. It is an expired date. One thing I know about God, God will not allow us to continue carrying burdens that will last forever. Hallelujah. It will not continue. The Bible says in Psalms 10, we read that one. The thing from the, 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 the on Friday. I read them. It was 10 24. Uh -huh. Oh, glory to Jesus. Abuna. Isaiah. It 
is there. It is there. Isaiah 10, 24, is it there? Isaiah 10, 24. Oh, it is all there. Okay. Continue. Therefore, thus says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. All my people who dwell in Zion. All my people who dwell in Zion. Don't be afraid of the Assyrian. Don't be afraid of the Assyrian. Don't be afraid of the trouble you are going through. Eh? Who smites you with a rod? Yes. And lifts up his staff against you. Uh -huh. As the king of Egypt did. Yes. For yet a little while. For yet a little while. Go to Jesus. Praise the Lord. We have been told, repeat again. I want to sit here. I wish to the woman and be there this way. You want to avoid as one of people that you get us. Okonai, Soma. No, Soma, no, we did this. Ah. Isaiah, is she in the name? Isaiah, Isaiah, Aya. Kumi, is she in the name? Who that old Guabo? Aya Soma. Aya Kisoi. Kumi, is she in the name? Where is she? I was yet. I read the people I see on my back. I saw my. Why you wanna? Why I'm a Jesse? I said my evil. Anyone to have a Mukai Sayoni, eh? Monsieur Papadi? I should. Eh, dear. In Gawala to pick eh? Yako, eh? But not a Eh, What does he do? Pick up. Three degrees. These people are not For yet a little while. For yet a little while. And my indignation against you yeah. shall be accomplished. Shall be accomplished. And my anger shall be directed to the destruction of the Assyrians. And my anger shall be directed to those who make you shake it. Those who fight you. There will be at the anger of God. We go to them. I pray for you. That from today, those who have been troubling you, may they find the hand of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. May they find the hand of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has said that a short while, God is coming to trouble your troubles. Amen. Those who have been troubling you, God Himself is the one who is coming. That's what the man is saying. We trust in Him. Because the back door does not belong to you, it belongs to God. Go to Jesus. The back door is not ours. It's a block to God. It means you reach a point and say, No, God, I serve you. Regardless of what I'm going through. God is seeking for those people who will say enough is enough. I will never compromise. I will never look back. I will never be end. God, you are my trust. God, you are my trust. God is looking for such people. Who will stand and fight for God? Go to Jesus. Daniel 3, 16, 28. Hallelujah. In fact, I'm not using my notes. They are flowing. Daniel 360. Now let's go. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And what does it say? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In the Bible, there were some guys there. Who are called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Huh? Answer the king. The man had declared to be passed by the king, Nebuchadnezzar, that they worship a foreign god. But the men said, because they knew they are God. Now the story is right about these days. They eyes stood and they said what they told. They held the cats oh, to speak to the president. Uh -huh. oh, no. They told the president, Oh, Mr. President. Uh -huh. It is not necessary for us to answer you on this point. It is not necessary for us to answer you. Can you imagine a man speaking to the president? President na kwa pale anamuuliza jibu swali na uko hapo na kujibu unamwambia oh Mr President it is not necessary for us to answer you my friend <laughs> now you are standing before the president Lord Jesus I know you are standing before the mighty 
things. And you are telling him it is not necessary. These guys, they something they had. This guy, they something they knew. This is something, this guy, they something they have gotten. And they had no, there's one who will fight for them. Then they say what? If our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire. If our soul whom we serve. The guy said about what they knew about. If our God whom we serve. Well, is able to deliver us. Is able to deliver us. In fact, we are going to pay a present out of the Here is the present. The God we serve, if he is able to deliver us from what we are planning to do to us, eh? from the burning fiery furnace, eh? he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we will not serve you. No, he said, let's have the body. <laughs> this man then cuts. I wish Christians we can have this guy, this guy said. But I want to see you to the club of Rude to that to make here and I was at the combo. Nakamba at the combo, I took the idea of the Konoyako. What was it? Hallelujah. At the club at the combo, I took the Kua Watuako, I took the Kua Mikononimako. Lord Jesus. Can you say that? I can't be heaven. At the club of the chapel in the Paran. Bado sita kuwa wako. Ata kama ni mekataliwa. Bado shetani manino wako sita kubaliana na ayo. Ata kama watu wako wame nikata. Shetani ya tamimi sita kubaliana na awe. Mimi na yuwa kunae mungu wa ibaya na komboa. Na uyo mungu ndiyo natumikia. Na ata kama ata ni komboa. Mikono ni mwako shikuji. Na lewa na angelea kwa hiyo mstanikina na sema. Na wake kagulikani. Tutu anabia, anabia present. Mr. President, na wacha ikatulikani. Amen. Eh? But if not, let it be known to you, O King. Yes. That we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image which you have set up. Mr. President, let it be known. We will never serve your God. We will never turn away from our God. We will never leave our God. These guys were focused. These guys knew the God they serve. This guy knew the God they serve can rescue them. They knew the God they serve can deliver them. And surely as you go down there, the man stood by their word. The man believed in God. The man stood there. And the king got so furious. And he said, let the fire be increased. And it was increasing. The eating was so much. And he said, let the man be thrown there. Because the God they knew, the God they serve. Oh, the men were thrown in that pit. But they something that happened when they were thrown in that pit. There's something that happened. Those who trust in God, you are not alone. When you are being fought, you are not alone. There is a God who is beside you. Yes, you may not be seen. There is a God. The guys who are thrown in the pit, but there's something that happens. I don't know what your Bible says, but my Bible says they saw when they stood beside him. Kings being there, the king was looking. They saw a fourth man. There was a fourth person who was standing on the pit at the pit of the of the fire. There was a fourth person, and they asked themselves, "Did we not feel three guys down there that we can see a fourth person?" I come to speak to someone today. Though you go through trouble, there is a fourth person who is coming to rescue you. There is a fourth person who is coming. It does not matter where you have been taken. It does not matter what they say. There's a fourth person who is coming, and this person when he appears, he appears in his majesty. You shall never be bent. You are not going back to spend to, to spend the smoke. You are not going to be to feel the heat because there's one you have trusted, and this is our God. Let me tell you the guys who are thrown inside there. They threw three guys, but later they saw four guys moving and walking. Why? The man did not relate to the God they knew. Why do we relate when things happen in our lives? Why do we baptize Christians? Why do we leave God when things are tough on our lives? Why do we question? The guys did not question. They told the king, let it be known. Though you threw up there, we will never worship you alone. We will never worship your gods. We are Christians who can defend God. 
Those are the people God is seeking for. People will stand and say, I cannot be moved. I'm not going to sin for me to get this job. I'm not going to sin for me to be promoted. I'm not going to do this and this for me to get this. There are people God is seeking. And those are the people God is calling upon. Those who can cry and say, God, I can you. You are my trust. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. The other day at my place of work, I think it's yesterday. <coughs> I was talking to some ladies. Now, when I was done, while it's Ubuli and Abagwana, Wakateso, now I can't go anywhere they want. Wakachana now, now they are seen. Then one lady asked me, Pastor, Pastor, it's a funny guy, you mean in a metal? Oh, Metoka. Okay, Metoka and Fanyani. Pastor, the Metoka. Nimechoka hii maisha nimechoka. Nimeomba nimechika mwisho. So you nataka ni. Me I need to settle. So Mwingine akaniambia wacha nikwambie akashikana na mwingine wa pili. Because mimi nilingilia nikamwambia the problem with you. You did not stand in the time of the storm. You could have fought inside the day. And God could have fought for you. God could have listened to you. God could have fought your battles. And I told them marriage is not a symbol. Marriage is sweet. But marriage needs somebody who will be humbling there. Somebody who will be there. Who will stand there. Who will fight it out when you are there. It is not special. You are not special. Now you are hot, you are crying. In the how was it easy? We cannot trust them. Thank you. Now today, you are the one who closes your house. Una haka lock. Una jipikia chakula. Una jikolia yuni yako. Do you feel that? Una jitabikia kitana. Na una jifunikia nobody. It is a lie that is not that. And they told me, Pastor, we are tired. I told them, the problem with you, you did not believe God can fight battles for you. Hallelujah. Those who stood Today they are married. Na kanyambia na niungweli. Unakumuka mstani na likuwa na hivyo mayonet. Nukwa na hivyo kitango. We were singles. Then, tukianza hii kasi ya insurance. Unakumuka mayonet. Akanyambia hee. Aki mayonet mbako walewa kona kwa na hake. Na vila hivyo mstani na likuwa na chapwa. Mbako ya kanika fanyiwa. Aki kalifumila. Tuka kambia kakimbia. Aka kukimbia. Sisi tulipa kimbia kwa hao. You have a testimony of what happened. That lady found when she was inside. You, you ran away. 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 Thank you for the testimony of violence. Ukikutana na hiyo vile nikimwambia pasta anataka kumuona because hiyo ushuhuda ndio nataka at least atolee mbele yenu kwa sababu mtasikia kuvumilia maswahili wanasema una nini wa Kristo atufumili shida inakuja unakimbia haleluya mjini juzi akanipigia pasta nimeamuka asubuhi nimekuta jiwa nimeenda kwa mlango wangu nimetoka damu kwa kichwa kwa mapoa sijui kama jiwe inakuwa na mapoa inakuwa damu wameniroka wana nilikuwa hapa chini nakumbuka hata nilikuwa hapa hapa kujenga hapa juzi wana niroka nikamwambia akiwa na koroga hivi wana koroga hivi what you want for you to be rich and then come the previous day vijana walikuwa wanacheza wakatoa jiwa kwa field wakakuta nje bila wanagonga vijana wakabeba so wakakuja wakicheza nao wakifunda so usiku mahali nilifikia unajua vijana wakaanya kwa mlango wa hiyo msichana hapo msichana kuanguka oi basta wameroga nini wametumwa nikamwambia nani baadaye akaniambia hata iko orodhi ni vijana walikuwa wanacheza na jiwe adha tije the lady told me nikiwa hapa akaniambia pastor nimekupigia lakini hao wananiendea watanijua hata mimi najua kwenda she told me Naamuka hapa nikipiga 
mkuu mara moja kaenda nyumbani kwao nikagutwa akaambia lazima watajua mimi natoka kagutwa they will not tell to me and then we jioni anakuja na ambia ni vijana walikuwa wanacheza i don't know if he had to go na we are waiting to get another testimony wapendo vitu zinatendeka wewe unaamka asubuhi unapiga kwa mchana wana kuchukia tu wa blocks naanza kusema hao wananeroka mimi je those people they are starting you to pray for those people they are starting you to seek god my friend this is the high time you need to seek god this is the high time you need to call upon the name of god when things are not working call upon the name of god this man they knew the god they serve they knew even this god he does not take care of us even he does not come with us there we know we lost him can you today defend god kuna watu hapa kuna story inasemangwa wezi fulani waliingia kanisani usiku wakiwa kukiwa na kesha wakakuta watu wakiomba vile mnaambana hapa leo kupoto le poto wao poto hiyo ile kesha ile kesha zinakuwa poto watu wote wanazanga kwa kwa dini mnaenda that is our tradition hallelujah and we are not ashamed of it because we know what we are praying when we are praying like that so we are not praying like that let the guy let them kakakaka wakapiga mbona na kashikwa hey guys what is it kuna kitu kasilabu nasika kakakaka ikanokeo eh akaagua na pasta pandile pasta kasimama hapa wakaagua sasa yule akopata wa pasta anasema sasa anajua pasta because leo ni siku ya mwisho ya pasta aende pande hii si wamesimama hii pasta kwa hapa pasta leo na watu wameamka wote including his wife walikuwa pande ile nyingine oh nyingi ndio amuko pande ya pasta oh unataka pasta kuve pande yake na wakakuti pasta si kuanzia leo wewe ni kwenda unaenda sema maombi yako ya mwisho Hallelujah. Sasa in the process they done. Ya mara moja akasema mchungaji. Sisi hatuja kuja hapa kuwaoa. Nimekuja hapa kwa kuendodus to you. The people who trust God. These people you have been preaching to they have nothing for you. Wote wamekukata leo. Ni hawa na the guys left I don't know the prayers the pastor made after that Hallelujah I think everybody got born again including the wife because alisema ule akopande ya pastor apite wote waliruka pande let me tell you there are people who cannot defend the poor Hallelujah wewe unakutwa kwa matatu na mikono na ingia nani ameokoka hapa inua mkono unanyamaza hata ukulizo najua mungu si you give me a man see you can you speak and say god who are the people who are seeking who can stand and say my god i'm born again mko hapa tunaokoka na tunaendana kwa barabara tunakuta hawa watu wa dhibi kwa matatu kuna watu hata mtakaki kuwaona na macho jamaa akianza kuhubiri hii nyoro mnaangalia hata chini have you ever seen that disease with christians na matatu hiyo i think wa islam wa christ hapa tunatarebuka tunaenda tao hakuna msikiti pande hii na baba iko ni kidogo kwa hiyo most of these people in this battle of stay christian jamaa anaanza kuhubiri na siku ya leo Mungu amenituma ni wasungumuzia leo tunapenda kasidi kunisikize na sina maneno mengi nimekuja hapa kuambia Yesu anawapenda na sasa hivi anaambia nini leo anaangalia na chini jamaa anahubiri anahubiri hata usemi amen usijulikane kama mwanao Haleluya. Na jamaa akitoka matatu. Bwana Yesu. Haleluya. Wengine hata wakitoa sadaka hata kwa. Amen. Hao wanakujaka kuomba fea. Kuna mwingine alinifurahisha juice, alihubiri na akasema msijipatie fea. Msitoe sadaka amwaki. Naenda kufanya kazi vile mnaenda kufanya kazi, lakini mimi nahubiria ajili ya Bwana. Nilisema amen nikiwa huko nyuma. Kasema amen pastor preach kabisa anaambia mchungaji na kujua sikia alinijua wapi mimi ni mchungaji na mimi simjui akasema mchungaji na kujua barikiwa nikasema ime nikoko kwa matatu nyumba nikasema ime because wanafikiria kama tunachukua pesa haleluya 
And let me tell you, we need God is psychic for those people who trust in God. Let me tell you, you can say there's a God in heaven. I trust. Those are the people God is looking for. Those are the people when shaken. They are stand to seek God. Those are the people who shall stand the stones when they come. Those are the people who shall remain standing like the mountain of Zion. Praise the Lord. How many other want to? I want to be sure. Not to me. One has a few. When I want to be a cock and a wow, the sick way I know that I walk on our cough. One has a few. They did not start. God is looking. And those are the people God is using. And those are the people God will come. The Bible says, He will not be made to come and rescue you in Isaiah 10 24. He is going to come. Though it may take time, but I'm going to come. When God appears, let me tell you, you'll be that fall. You will see the fourth man only come in your life. And God, when the fourth man comes, is coming to rescue you. When Jesus entered in that furnace, he came there to rescue Abednego. Misha, they were rescued that day. What does it mean? Glory to Jesus. Are you ready to be rescued? Are you ready to be rescued? Are you ready? Are you ready to go through this God? Are you ready to still love this God when things are bad? Okay, so are you ready still to serve God? Are you ready to serve God? Are you ready to be that married? Are you ready to be that are you ready to be there? God is looking for those. When you have the troubles are there, you need to call upon his name. Tonight, this afternoon, we are calling upon the name of God. Yes, I know we have gone through much times. We have gone through issues. We have gone through pain. But God, we are calling you today. Father, may you come and rescue us. Jehovah, may you not delay. Father, may you not delay. God, may you not delay. Father, may you not delay. Come and rescue us, oh Father. Come and rescue us as a church. Yes, things have been hard in this place. Oh God, things have been so hard. But Jehovah, I pray you are coming. Oh God, I pray you are coming. Oh God, I pray you are coming. Oh God, I pray you are coming. There's someone who is praying that prayer. I tell you today, God is looking for that person. And God is coming to rescue. If maybe it is not marriage, you are crying for love. There is a God who is coming to rescue you. There is a God who is coming. Yes, it may take some time, but when he comes, he is coming to restore. He is coming to establish. He is coming to make you complete. He is coming to give you peace. He is coming to give you rest. Because this God does not forget his own. Amen. Father, I pray for your mercy. I pray, Father, you are coming to rescue your people. Yes, yes they have gone through much. The pain is so much of God in their families. The pain is so much at their place of work. Oh Jehovah, I pray you are coming to establish them. God, they are not shaken. But they have been stirred, oh God, to seek your Father. They have been stirred to trust in your God. They have been stirred to stand for your Father. I pray, Father, for today for your people that they are standing God with trust in your Father. We are calling upon your neighbor. Even on this church of Jehovah, we are calling upon your neighbor. We are standing on the mountain of Father. And we are declaring Jehovah that we are being born without Jehovah. This sign has been accomplished in the name of Jesus. We are standing here to declare we have a God who is coming to rescue us. We have a God who is coming to provide us. We have a God who is coming to answer. If they are not my God, Jehovah, may you come and answer by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, rescue my sister, rescue my brother in the mighty name of Jesus. Rescue my daughter in the name of Jesus. Rescue my son in the name of Jesus. A God who does not come later. Oh Jehovah. In the name of Jesus, appear in our lives in the name of Jesus, appear in our situation in the name of Jesus, come on through for us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Missed, we be moved from our righteousness, oh God. The scepter will not remain upon the righteous in the name of Jesus. But I pray today. Yes, we have been shaken. But we have been stirred. 
Yes, the enemy has shaken us. But we have been started to seek you, God. We trust in you today. We trust in you today. That Father, we are not going to be moved. I'm not going to be moved. I cannot let go. Father, I trust in you. I trust in you. Because God, I rely on you. Father, I bless you. Father, I give you the glory. I bless you, Jesus. Because tonight and this afternoon, our trust is in you. God, I give you the glory. And I give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Trust in the Lord. And you shall not be shaken. Glory to Jesus. Trust in the Lord. And you shall emerge victorious in the name of Jesus. Yes, you are shaken. But you are stuck. Amen. You are shaken, but you are stuck. My God, richly bless you. Amen.